Hey everybody, this is Mike. I sell as Mike Amondo on eBay, and I've got something really cool I'd like to show you today. It's something we just sold. We're getting ready to ship it out. It's a Polaroid camera. Um, I want to do two things with this. I think this is a cool item because, first off, it's really cool. It's just a really neat old uh, Polaroid land camera. But uh, also, it actually fit perfectly in with the LCS score that we use to determine what we should price stuff at. So I wanted to go over it real quickly. And um, this is the guy. That is a uh, SX70 Alpha 1 uh, Polaroid land camera. Polaroid used the name Land on, on all of these Instamatic cameras. Uh, the first ones came out in the 40s. Uh, what this guy did that was different uh, than the predecessors, and actually, for example, this one. This one was actually brought out just before this came out. Um, the instructions on the back, I don't know if you can see all that, but this much is about how to pull out the film and make sure it all looks right. And uh, These could get chemicals on your hands. It wasn't great. But what, this, uh, what this camera did... Uh, was actually uh, get all that down to where all basically you just hit the button and out come the, film, the the picture and you just wait until it dried. You didn't have to do anything else. This changed the game. It was also ridiculously expensive when it came out, uh, like the equivalent of about eleven hundred dollars today. Uh, so they didn't sell a ton of them. Um, I found all this stuff just by googling. I'm not some kind of camera expert or anything, but let me show you real quick. How First thing, if you happen to find one of these and it's cheap, buy it because there's a lot of money. This one uh, actually has uh, this uh, this leather in such great condition. It, it's it's aluminum cased, and then it has these leather panels. And there, a lot of times, those will be messed up. I don't know if I can get that in there. Let me get it to zoom. A lot of times, those will be uh, really messed up. And uh, and cracked and everything. The, the condition of this was just gorgeous. Um, but the first thing you realize, there's no button on here. It's so sleekly designed. Um, that's what makes it so beautiful, I think. To open this guy up, there's actually no buttons. You grab the back of this part and lift up, and it just opens up. And then you pull it enough until this clicks into place. And, and there you have it. That is the SX-70 LAN camera. It's gorgeous. So this is actually the... Uh, Polaroid SX-70, and that says Alpha 1. Uh, that means this came out about 1977. There were some improvements. You know you've got an Alpha 1, uh, that next generation, if it has these lugs here for the strap. Um, and then also the uh, hold amount on the uh, uh, tripod mount right there. Um, when you get ready to put this back down, you just uh, basically push this in. Be careful. Push this in, and it uh, will slide back. Uh, to the back and then you can push it down. Um, I did find out that uh, the original one of this looks just like this. Uh, like I said, except it doesn't have the lugs and it doesn't have the mounts. Uh, but also you'll see that it doesn't say Alpha 1 here. That came out about 1972. This guy came out about 1977. I had the case with it, beautiful case, and uh, some original documentation including, this was actually kind of fun, the original warranty card where the original owner was kind enough to put the date, which was January uh, 19th, 1977. Um, this guy, if you find one that doesn't say Alpha 1, that would be the one that came out about 1972. It was out for several years. I did notice that I didn't see a big price difference between the original and the Alpha 1. Um, if it looks like this, if it's in this kind of condition, people are going to want it. It's a beautiful camera. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. That camera we were just looking at is on its way to Hong Kong for its, uh, for its new owner, um, which was very exciting. It was fun to sell something that we're gonna ship across the world, always like that. Um, I wanna take just a minute to go over the numbers on this camera, and I wanna discuss specifically the uh, what we call the LCS score on the camera. It uh, gives you the listing completed and sold, and then there's a couple of things you can do with those numbers, and we're gonna talk about two of those, the selling ratio and the selling rate real quick. Um, the cool thing with this particular camera was that the numbers predicted it was going to sell quickly and that we could put it at a pretty decent price point um, because of the strength of the market. And that's exactly what the LCS can tell you is the strength of the market because it's basically analyzing supply and demand for a particular item on eBay. So let's take a quick look here. Um, this is actually current listings right now that are for sale. The critical number is going to be right up here. Uh, 41 is what we're looking for. This is currently listed. I also always sort my searches uh, price plus shipping highest first so that I can just scan down through there and get a quick 
view of the decreasing price as we go down through and it, it just allows you to get a better picture very quickly of the market. So our first number in the LCS score is 41. The second number is going to be completed. I've already got that pulled up here. There's 147 completed listings. Now immediately I'm thinking, hey, this is looking pretty good. And these numbers are actually were a little better when we did the initial research on this camera. But when you have 147 completed and only 41 are shown, that, that, that looks pretty good. Now the completed score, the C out of the LCS score is probably the least important of the three. I like to look at it to see how people, it tells you more about how people are listing um, rather than necessarily a selling point or the selling ratio. The critical number uh, is this uh, third number, the S, and I've got that pulled up right here. And you can see there's 138 sold in 90 days. It's always, always important to remember that your sold is uh, looking at a period of time, whereas your listed is looking at a moment in time. But it does also uh, point out uh, the supply versus demand. The supply is, of course, what's listed right now. That's the supply of these cameras that are available for sale. The demand shows the demand over the last 90 days is 138 sales in this case. If you do that math out and you do the uh, selling ratio, which is sold divided by listed, it's a very simple uh, mathematical calculation. Uh, if you divide that out, 138 over 41, uh, the selling ratio on this item is 3.37. So what that means is, there's uh, three and a third sold for every single one that's listed in the course in 90 days. Now, when we did the numbers on this, uh, when we listed the camera, it was actually four to one. Um, of course, those numbers slightly change every day. Some drop off the back end of that 90 days and some new ones are added. Um, but that is an incredibly strong selling ratio. Um, so that let us know that there's a lot of demand for this. The supply is, is outstripped by demand. Um, as we looked at the price point of the camera, we could feel confident sliding it up a little bit, a little higher in that, that uh, pricing uh, because you know it's going to sell at some point. And if we wanted to sell it quicker, you slide it down and do it a little cheaper. If you don't mind waiting, you can slide it up. That's true of anything you're going to list. But in this case, we could feel very comfortable sliding toward the top of the range, not only because the demand was so strong, but also because that camera was so darn clean that we knew it was going to sell pretty quickly. Uh, at the end, we ended up sliding it up to about 200 bucks, and um, we actually, I think ours is down here somewhere in the number 10 or 12 slot uh, for the sales uh, that day. Uh, there we are, right there. That's ours. And on its way to Hong Kong now. So the other important number that you can pull out of here is the selling rate. And this was another thing that, that made this kind of a no-brainer to push the price up a little bit. Um, the selling rate is going to be the number sold over 90, because that's always the period of time we're looking at on eBay in terms of these sold numbers. So you simply divide that out. We find out that we get one and a half sales a day on average. So every single day or every two days, three of these sell. You just do, do the math. And uh, that's a pretty strong selling rate. So you could be pretty close to the top of the, 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 the selling range. You got two of them selling every day. You're going to get your turn, you know, pretty quickly. And in this case, we sold this camera in three days. Popped it out there at a pretty high price point that we were happy with. Um, usually the ones that were up into the 200 range were um, either refurbished or well tested. Somebody bought the film, ours was not. Um, so uh, we, we felt pretty good about that. I just want to go over these numbers with you, give you an idea of how the LCS score works in, uh, in real life and how we use it here. If you want to learn more about it, there are some videos uh, down below. If you like what we're doing, make sure to follow us. We'll be having some more videos. Thanks a lot.